Howdy, I'm Brock England. Welcome to another episode of Wheel Love. We have for you today a 1970 Chevelle SS454 with the LS6, the unicorn motor. This is a torquey based. It's owned by Marshall and Vicky Farr. It's got a great story behind it. I really think you're going to like this. Thank you very much for watching. and this is my Chevelle. We bought this Chevelle in 1971. We owned it five different times. Um, I just kept track of where it was and the last girl that bought it, she raced it also and I told her when she got ready to sell it to be sure to let me know. And she did, so in 96, uh, we bought the car back and we've had it ever since. The first time we bought it was uh, from a, a guy we didn't know and we just used to just see it setting on a quarter out at 41st and Yale, his dad on the filling station there. And we we drive by and see it, we fell in love with it. Finally, we talked to him and asked him if he wanted to sell it. He sold it to us in uh, 71, and then we were in the 20s, we were young. We would need money, and it was the only thing we had that was worth anything, so we would sell it then. As a 454 in it right now, of course it's not the original motor, when we used to go out and race at night or at the drag strip, we would tow, we had a 68 Camaro that was our race car, so we would tow it with this car. We'd pull up there and, you know, ask someone if they wanted to race the, the car, the race car, and they said no, but they wanted to race the tow car, so we would unhook the race car and run them with the tow car and outran them most of the time. And one night, my husband, we went out racing and this guy got mad at us because we beat him racing. And the car was sitting on a trailer in front of our house and he shot a gun and, not, and did a hole, a bullet went through the fender of it. So he wasn't real happy. <laughs> the car ran so good back then that people would uh, want to buy the uh, motor. So he would build a motor, put it in this car, and show them how it would run, and then he'd turn around and sell the motor for them, so that way they knew that it would run. Marshall went through about 14 or 15 motors in this car. They got so good at changing motors in it that we could just change it and then go out and race that night. We've owned it five different times and uh, it's home to stay now. Our daughter, it's her favorite car, so she, won't, she will inherit it from us and we're gone. 